Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to be listing a hundred things that are in my room. Um, I don't know if I can do that because um, I, I I live in a I live in a Skecher. Also, just a side tangent. Um, why why do people live in Skechers? By the way, it's kind of kind of cramped in here. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting claustrophobia that I didn't have before. Now nah, everyone, but besides the jokes, we are going to be picking in and ranking every one of these beautiful movies classics I'm talking classy classy classics but I'm gonna be a bit biased cuz some of these movies I have way better experiences with some of them I have really bad experiences with that are good so I'm gonna call up a friend real quick Alright, this start this tier list off with episode 1, The Phantom Man. Going into the D tier because it is the most boring movie I've ever seen. Now, I haven't seen that many movies. I've seen a couple hundred. But this one may be the most boring movie I've ever seen. Like, it has some really cool moments. Like, near the end, the fight, Darth Maul, he's awesome, right? But... He's performed way better in the Clone Wars. I didn't watch Rebels because it's Rebels, but like, honestly, Episode One: The Phantom Man gets a D for me. It's just boring throughout the duration of its timestamp. Honestly, like, this is the only one that I like have trouble sitting through, uh, like severely. Um, it just isn't great, and I give it a D for that. Alright, now next up on our list is episode 2. Wait, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. Episode 2. The, what is it called? I forgot. Oh, Attack of the Clones. Yeah, that's right. Okay. When I rewatch this movie, honestly, it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna be completely honest when I tell you this. Like, it's not as bad as people say when I rewatched it. I had a lot of fun watching it. I mean, sometimes we're dragged on a bit too long. But honestly, the funny moments are hilarious and kind of awkward, so it's not, it's definitely not the best movie, but, um, yeah, I'll give it a C. It's definitely better than this one, but not marginally. Alright, coming up, my favorite Star Wars movie, I'm putting in an S already, The Revenge of the Sith. This movie is legendary to me. My favorite one when I was very young. Like, my favorite one when I was, my dad made me watch all the Star Wars movies. Like, so much good content is in this movie. Like, good fights, good fight scenes, like, good choreograph, choreography, I should say. It's a little overdue, as people say, but that that's what the prequels are about. Overdoing everything, and I love it. Um, yeah, S tier. In, like... Ewan McGregor is insane in this movie. As long as Anna, what's his name? H Hayden Christensen? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Padme, she gets. Mm, Padme isn't that good, great in this movie. She, I, she's better at both of these, in my opinion. Uh, she does things in those movies and she doesn't do anything in here. But honestly, S tier for Revenge of the Sith. Alright, in coming before Rogue One and A New Hope, we have Han Solo, A Star Wars Story. No, it's not. I keep saying Han, or I keep misplacing words. Like, what am I thinking? But this movie, I love it. It's really fun. A lot, lot of rewatchability. Just rewatched it. Um, I love it. Honestly, man. I'm in an A, maybe even an S. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna give it an A. It's it's just so fun. Uh, if you didn't watch it because of the backlash, I do recommend you do it. Um, it is a lot of fun. Like, please go watch it. All right, coming right after Han Solo. Uh, did I say that again?
I need to go back to school. It's been too long. But um, anyway, R Rogue One. Uh, seen this movie like three or four times. Uh, this one we didn't rewatch. Probably should have rewatched it. But I just don't have good memories of this guy. Uh, like, yeah, it's not really necessary. Uh, a lot of people rank it higher than this. I think it's the quality of the movie is probably better than Fan Clone. What? What am I saying? Okay, Attack of the Clones is probably better than that, so I'm gonna put it in front of there, but. It's also really boring, but the third act is, it's just great to watch every time. And I hate that quote, um, by, oh, what's his name? He's in, he's in Clone Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, and Rogue One. I, I can't remember his name, but he's the dude, he's just like, leave me behind. And I hate that trope in movies, like, just come with us, we have room on the ship, we have time. It's just so stupid, and I hate that they reuse that for a plot point. It's kind of stupid. That's kind of why I didn't want to rewatch it. Also, some of the decisions they made I did not agree with, and yeah, um, that's Rogue One. All right, and here we go with the original trilogy, starting off with the New Hope, nineteen seventy-eight, I believe. Um, I don't think it's as good as um Empire, but. A New Hope, it's a classic, introduce all the characters that will be staying with us. Um, A New Hope, honestly, loads of fun, I love it. Um, I don't, <laughs> okay, a lot of people are going to get mad at me for this, but I don't, I, I, I love, like, okay, that's behind this. And the only reason that being is that when I was little, I connected with these characters, much more than I did the original trilogy characters. And that's just ingrained into my memory. And the fights, I think, are a bit better since it 2005, 1978. Um, New Hope, still a classic. Love it. Actually, revising this, uh, if we're talking about the only version you're actually allowed to see on, like, Disney Plus and things, then this is, um, a B tier, um, special edition, uh, made a B tier, CGI is awful, and honestly, okay, no, I'm joking, <laughs> but if we're talking about the version you're only allowed to see nowadays, it's, it's probably a D tier, not gonna lie, and you're probably wondering too, where did Phantom Menace go, I have no idea, it kinda just jumped away, oh, here it is, okay, I lost it. Okay, coming with the um, the best of the original trilogy, um, in my opinion at least, uh, probably has one of the coolest lightsaber fights and the best reveals if it wasn't spoiled. And I wasn't four. Wait, no, doesn't make sense. If I if I <laughs> okay, if I understood the twist, then this movie would be the first time I saw it without getting spoiled. But I knew the twist because everyone tells me when I was little, so it's not hitting the bell. It would be boom, 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 chickalaka. Now it's bam, 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 right here, chickalaka. You know what I mean? So it's in front of New Hope, but twist. Dang, if I was in a theater, I think it was 1980, this was made. Dang, this would be all the way. Like... Dang, if I experienced that twist like everyone else did in that theater, uh, this would be completely out. This would be in the galaxy far, far away. Alright, coming up next with the worst of the original trilogy, in my opinion. It's honestly kind of boring to me. Uh, I'll explain in a minute. Uh, B tier looks pretty empty, but I want to explain a little bit why I am putting it here. Um, a lot of people defend this very strongly. The, yes, the end fight is amazing. Um, probably one, if not in the top three best lightsaber fights in the game. Just say in the game, in the trilogy, 
and uh, B tier looks lonely. It's honestly really boring. There's a lot of time that honestly wasted. And let okay, Luke's plan at the beginning to break everyone out of Jabba's castle, like it's so flawed and it's so lucky that it worked. Like. <laughs> If that was realistic, they would have failed a thousand times. But like, okay, right, let me explain. Sorry. They came in. He pulls up, or er, I don't even know. <laughs> but watch Cosmonauts, um, Cosmonaut Variety Hour. I'll link him in the description. He did a great video on each of these trilogies. I'm taking some points from there. I can't really remember everything from him, but he made a good point about Luke's plan at the beginning. Uh, go check it out. It's awesome. Um, but honestly, it's really boring when you're just chilling on Endor. Like, a good third of the movie is just wasted chilling with Ewoks and relaxing, like, bonding over, like, things we really don't care about. So that's why I'm putting it here. Um, Cosmonaut Variety Hour made a really good point. Of course, the ending is very nice and wraps up the so-called series. Uh, but of course, there's three other ones um, in the main series that come later. Um, yeah, go check out his video on the original trilogy. Uh, a lot of the points, they're very well magnified, examined, and studied. So, yeah, go check him out. Link in the description. Awesome, dude. Alright, and coming to the new coming of Star Wars. Um, coming out... 11 years later, 2016, I believe, or was it 2015? I think it's 2016. Um, 11 years after Revenge of the Sith, F Star Wars Force Awakens. Uh, this was this was an interesting movie when it came out. Of course, most people enjoyed it, but then when people when people found out that everybody liked it, they made controversy. That it was just copying everything. And of course Disney, after they buy the license for Star Wars, isn't going to pull up with a brand new movie. They're going to take elements from um, the original and sort of give it a remix. And people say... No, <laughs> I'm stupid. Another <laughs> cosmonaut variety hour. He made a video on all three of the trilogies in Star Wars. Go check the video out, I'm telling you. Um, I can't explain everything here. I, I haven't watched the video in a while. Um, and there's a lot to unpack in all three of them. The, it's like, I don't know. They're all like 40, 40 to 35 minutes long. And I want to get this video out for you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll just link him. He's awesome. Definitely go subscribe. Like, please do. But, I really enjoy this movie. Uh, you can't rewatch it too many times. Like, consistently. When I watch it with my mom, she's never seen any Star Wars movies, as I said. Um, she really liked this one. It was her favorite when we got to it. Um, she really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's with A. Honestly, I love this movie. And hopefully you kind of agree with the points I'm making. I'm not an expert on anything. Uh, not a critic. Uh, I'm just a kid here. Trying to list some movies, but... Yeah, honestly. If you haven't rewatched it in a while, go do it. Um, you'll probably enjoy it more than you had before. Um, with a fresh mind. Great movie. Um, great actors. Go check it out. And here we go! With the two most... Probably controversial movies in the entire franchise. <laughs> um, here we have Last Jedi. Um, episode seven, no, eight, eight. Okay. Um, and you go back to school, as I said. I haven't been. Yeah, it's been a what? Um, but Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Um, a lot of controversy. They did some things with Luke that a lot of people didn't enjoy. Did a lot of things with the characters that most people didn't enjoy. Um, 
Mark Hamill, heck, he didn't even like his character in this movie. Um, he looked at, like, he disagreed with almost everything that they said, but they said it, that was the way it had to be. Um, well, besides <laughs> Luke and him in the new franchise, Luke, um, I don't know. He's, yeah, I don't, mm, 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 mm. I'm thinking of lasagna right now. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, I want to eat some. Oh, I'll be back. No, but for real. This movie, um, besides Luke, uh, it's a great action. It's, they killed Snoke. People got pretty mad at that. Like, they spent years, two years, um, like, mystifying him. And, um,. And, like, I'm thinking of theories, but he's really just this dude. He got killed. But that, that scene was awesome. And I have a lot of time sitting through this one. Um, like, some some of the points definitely are um, a little rough. I'm going to put it next to this movie. It's probably worse. Um, yeah, that's where it goes. And here we go. Ending off the tier list. Here we have Star Wars Episode 9 Rise of the Sky Boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. This movie gets bullied. Some of the decisions are bad. A lot of twists, a lot of fake deaths, a lot of things that really do not make sense in the grand scheme. But I love this movie. I I love it. It's it's I love it. I love this movie because it closes this entire franchise that I'm watching my entire life all the way up. And I some of the fake deaths they kind of hold it back. But when I was watching it the first time, I did not think about it. I was thinking, dang, I really like this movie the entire way through. And a lot of fan service, like, I love fan service in movies. Uh, this one was definitely the most fan service movie in the franchise. And some of the Force Ghost, um, like, <laughs> some of the Force Ghost abilities kind of are different in this movie, as in overpowered. Um, like, Luke can grab real objects now, and <laughs> Yoda, uh, like, like, I don't know, this movie. It's a movie, definitely is a Star Wars movie. <laughs> this one, I, like, I want to put it lower, but I love it. Like, I can't have a bad time watching it. I just have to, like, shut my mind off and not think about all the fake deaths. Like, I don't know. I, I have to put it here. Like, it's, I like it. Like, I, I love this movie. Can I put it in front of there? Yeah. Can I put it in front of here? Yeah. I love this movie. What do I say? So much fun. Like, the controversy was needed. Um, but this movie, it's uh, so, so good, though. Like, completely recommend it to anybody um who's never seen Star Wars before um this movie is worth the wait you get a nostalgic shiver up your spine like it's so so awesome guys like please it's it's great like I'm talking so much good about this movie people are gonna be so mad but I love this movie so much guys like I don't know. I, I just want to know all your feelings down below. Um, hopefully you'll have a fantastic day. Um, uh, yeah, this is to end card.